Ag's News at 6, I'm William Johnson. Today, teams across the country met in College Station to perform emergency search and rescue operations. One of the team members saying this is at least the third time he's performed something like this, but that there can never be enough training. Teams are taking to the skies as Texas A&M Task Force 1 is giving a glimpse into what goes into a search and rescue. Steve Sparks says members began to hoist him into the air. You kind of spin around real good, but they take good care of you. You're very secure. There's no way you can fall out. And so if you just follow their directions, everything will be good. A rescue team manager, Sparks is usually on the other side performing the operation, but says his love for helping others never has him at the end of his rope. They need to practice their skills on a real person. So it's easy for me to come out uh, and do whatever it is they need me to do. The military department working with DPS, Teeks, and other groups to make the hope of saving lives a reality. This school bus is just one of the many areas teams were using to practice search and rescue operations in what could be real life chaotic situations. Chaotic situations that Matt McAlerney says several states, including Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Indiana, are taking part of with Texas to band together. Many states are participating, and we're trying to make the most realistic. Uh, natural disaster uh, training event uh, for our partners as we can. Partners using both military and civilian aircraft to perform the search and rescue operations. McAlerney saying he has years working as a first responder and is happy to be getting today's training off the ground. This just uh, enhances what I like to do. It, it broadens that scope for me in the emergency response. A scope that trainers say is important to broaden to make everyone more aware. You train, you train, and the more real life you can make the training, the better you're going to be in the real situation. Situations to help save the lives of those stuck in a disaster. William Johnson, KAGS News.